Pre NDTV had exclusive presence and access as India took another step towards having the capability to launch nuclear weapons from an underwater submarine. This is another step towards completing the much needed nuclear triad that's being able to launch from land, sea, and from an underwater submarine, which will be a potent deterrent when operationalized. India successfully tested for the 14th time a medium range ballistic missile from an underwater platform or pontoon on the eastern coast. The 700 km range missile can carry a nuclear warhead and will ultimately be integrated on India's indigenous nuclear powered submarine, the Arihan. Joining us now from Hyderabad is Dr. VK Saraswat. He's the Director General of uh, DRDO. In our Delhi studios, Rear Admiral Raja Menon, former Vice Chief of uh, Naval Staff, and uh, Pallav Bagla, NDTV Science Editor, who was fortunate enough to be uh, witnessing this um, successful missile to uh, test. He also has AK Chakravarti, designer of the submarine launch ballistic missile, and the Director of DRDO Lab, joining us from Hyderabad as well. Uh, Dr. Saraswat, congratulations, first of all. In a layman's language, what is the significance of this successful test? Today's launch is a major breakthrough in the missile technology, particularly launching from underwater. This uh, completes one of our major objectives of completing the strategic requirements. Once uh, we are able to launch from underwater means we have achieved the required objectives and given the significant aspect of strategic deterrence that is the triad. This technology is very very critical because in this case the missile has to within the water from different depths and then it has to journey in the atmosphere and outside the atmosphere. So design becomes complicated and India today has realized this by launching this particular missile. Design is very difficult. Uh, Pallav, describe to us the excitement that you witnessed firsthand. <clears throat> oh, it was amazing to be at the, in the middle of Bay of Bengal to watch this launch. NDTV and Alphonse Raj, our camera person and I were the only people witnessing outside the DRDO and Navy this particular launch. At 1.40 p.m. exactly, the missile pierced through the water and came out. Remember, it's a missile which is heavy. It has to come out of the water. There is some booster which has to be ignited below the water. It pushes it out of the water and then it flies into the sky. To see fire and water mix was an amazing feeling, uh, Amitabh. In so many years of reporting, I have never felt so excited <coughs> as I felt today watching this particular missile emerge from the water and then go follow the trajectory exactly. I cannot show that particular graph, but believe me, it followed exactly the pattern it was expected to and then went and struck where it was supposed to with great precision. Right, this uh, is particularly important for India because it gives us the second strike capability. Now India can hide its nuclear weapons underwater, keep it in INS Arihant, and then launch it at will whenever required. From wherever and India wants becomes well. the fifth country to have this. Right. Uh, Admiral Menon, just getting you into this now, uh, when you're talking about this is the ra last operational successful test, how long does it take to actually operationalize that in terms of uh, uh, marrying both the systems, that's the weapon system and the submarine, the Arihantia nuclear power submarine. And it takes no time. Okay. Uh, the day the submarine goes to sea, uh, as, so, as soon as the, the procedures and protocols of the sea trials are over, it can move straight into the firing. In fact, they have uh, done this uh, in a very sensible way. And, uh, but isn't there a lot of difference between firing from a pontoon and firing life from a submarine where there are men present, where it's a moving platform underwater? Yes, yes, but um, uh, it, it's uh, it, it as far as the submarine is concerned, it, <coughs> the the crew are so proficient at at uh, at set drills mm -hmm. that I don't think it will be a problem. They will um, they will easily. Um, Manage to do that. Uh, yeah, they will really easily manage it. Uh, India's number one news app just got even better.
Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.